Hello, this is Angela with Parker's Permaculture. I am here at the sheriff's office in Troutdale, Oregon. Um, you know, this is a permaculture channel and I don't typically film vlog style videos. I've done a couple of them lately just because of the way things have been kind of unfolding in my life. I usually do topical videos. In fact, my next video is scheduled to be about deadheading, when you should, why you should deadhead, and when it's best to not deadhead plants in your garden. You know, gardening videos, permaculture videos. But lately I've been covering, you know, just kind of what's going on in my life because things have been busy and I'm trying to be very real about what's going on in my life. So today I'm at the sheriff's office or this evening after a really long day, a series of really long days working on cleaning out my parents' house and getting that house ready to sell. And it's been really difficult. It's hard to sort through your parents' belongings and um, not get emotional about it, especially when you're you're kind of jettisoning those, those belongings and knowing that something that your parents invested a lot of money into and enjoyed using is kind of going out into the ether and someone else will use it or it'll get junked or you don't know what. In the process of clearing out stuff from the house, I came across some things that I knew were there, um, but I had never really looked at them before. My dad had told me. We we came across some 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 pew pews. I can't say it for uh, the algorithm and some other weapons as well. And you know, my parents were not into into these things at all. But my uncle, who was who was quite a bit older than my dad. Um, worked for military intelligence. And so when he passed away, my dad inherited some of his stuff. He inherited some, some, um, you know, like firearms and other things that are probably not necessarily legal to possess. And even the ones that were legal to possess, like if there's a Beretta, um, I'm not, I'm not interested in keeping those. So I was thinking like, you know, what is it that we in permaculture think about firearms? What do we think about owning and using um, different weapons? Obviously for hunting and, um, you know, procuring your own food, obviously they have a place. Totally understand that. Obviously there is a range of what people feel like they need to possess for their own personal safety and their own um, protection of their, their property, et cetera, et cetera. One of my friends used to joke before the pandemic about the zombie apocalypse and he would say like oh well I'll come you know I'll come bunk with you guys and you provide the skills and you know the, the food production and the you know um the textile production and the repairs and the the tools that I need and and like I'll provide I'll provide the muscle and the firearms because we don't personally have firearms in our house I have no interest in them. I have four children and risk of harm to kids is extremely elevated, harm or self-harm, um, when you have those kinds of things in the house. So. So I did a little research about what I could do to get rid of these, um, these things that were my dad's house and you know, it got tossed back and forth. Some of these you could sell on the open market and I have no interest in selling and making money off of a firearm that could potentially go to ending somebody's life. Zero interest in that. Do I want hundreds of dollars in exchange for somebody's life? Like absolutely not. So the option that came was you can take them to the sheriff's office and destroy them, have them destroyed. So that's what we're doing. We're at the sheriff's office today. But it kind of brought up for me, like, what what do we in permaculture think about, about firearms? And again, like, I would love to hear your comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think is the appropriate way to view in the lens of earth care, people care, and fair share, how we view and approach and use those kinds of weapons, how we use and view and approach and the attitude we take toward 
these weapons that have the ability to protect our family, procure food for us, but also have the ability to take away the life of other people and to be used for harm and, and, um, and, you know, have a very significant amount of weight to the, to the reality of owning them and the risks that are associated with owning them. I would love to hear your thoughts. What is it that we in permaculture, and we don't all have to agree. We're not going to all agree. I've often said that homo homogeneity is not something that I strive for on this channel, but like, but what do we as individuals think about our relationship to permaculture and firearms or permaculture and other weapons and how, how we want to view that and how that works into the ethics that we know and embrace and how that brings us to a more resilient future. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. It's something that I think about a lot. I'm not hugely anti these things. I see the reason that we might need them. I have no interest in owning them in my household with, with four children. Um. And I acknowledge that the amount of firearms that are held by American citizens is un unbelievable and ridiculous. And, and our obsession with, with these things is just um, unparalleled in the world with other people, other, other nations. So I'd love to hear your thoughts below. I'm gonna go run in to the sheriff's office and dispose of these. And I'll be back with a regular video from the garden next time. But I just wanna emphasize that permaculture is so much more than gardening. It's so much more than just thinking about the food that we grow, food systems, how we take care of our bodies and take care of our gardens. It's so much more than that. It is creating truly resilient systems for human beings to live in community with each other and in harmony with nature. So thanks for sharing your thoughts. I look forward to reading them and engaging with you all down in the comment section. And please remember, you're probably, if you feel like leaving a comment, someone might disagree with you. The views on this topic are really strong. People have really big feelings. So just remember to engage with each other um, with people care. That would be great. And I'll be back real soon. Bye-bye.